Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Boating News Show. Coming up, we look at this month's news from the world of boating. We have an incredible and stunning giveaway, not only for adults but kiddos too. We check out some new kit from Hummingbird with their new Apex MFD. Gill launched some new jackets. MDL announced the launch of a new element to their brand, and of course, a lot more. Firstly, a shout out to MDL, the UK's largest marina operator who are sponsoring this show. We'll hear more about MDL later. For now, let's get this month's show underway. So to start things off, we are all missing boat shows and the ability to get amongst all the latest boating kit. Well, some good news as Southampton Boat Show has been confirmed for 2021. Southampton International Boat Show's organisers British Marine have confirmed that the 52nd edition of the show will take place in September 2021, the 10th to the 19th of September. The festival promises it will showcase sail and powerboats, products and services from over 450 marine brands. From paddleboarding close to shore to cruising out in the Solent, there'll be a wide range of on the water experiences for everyone. Those who prefer to stay on dry land can watch live demonstrations and join talks where guest speakers will be sharing everything from the latest innovations to adventures at sea. When chatting to Leslie Robinson, the CEO of British Marine, she commented that the Southampton International Boat Show is the key event in the UK marine industry calendar. A new show working group has recently formed with stakeholders and exhibitors to further shape the 2021 Southampton International Boat Show and that they are excited to listen and learn from the group to ensure the very best experience. If you are a potential exhibitor wishing to be part of the Southampton International Boat Show, you should email sales at britishmarine.co.uk to secure a spot. Now, we're moving on to multifunctional displays. Yes, you would have all seen the latest tech from Raymarine, Simrad, Garmin and others, but there's another established player in the world of fishing, and that is, of course, Hummingbird. Hummingbird have unveiled their highest level of fish finder technology yet with the launch of their new Apex series. Now combining Hummingbird's sonar capabilities in full HD, Apex delivers enhanced, clear and detailed display of sonar and chart technologies. It comes in a 13, 16 and 19 inch version and this allows anglers to see sonar and chart images in remarkable detail. Apex's cross-touch interface is powered by a powerful dual-cool processor that provides fast, intuitive control as well as customization of features from either the touchscreen or soft key inputs. And it's great to have good high processing power in these type of machines, so this is great to see. Matt Cook, Hummingbird brand manager, said that in Apex, They've created a product that delivers on the need for peak performance when chasing fish on the big waters. Apex provides captains with everything that they need, including near limitless networking options that provide the information and control required to face any fishing scenario. If you want more information, go to www.hummingbird.com forward slash Apex. With 20% of total sales donated to Plastic Oceans UK, Gill Marine's latest off-cut edition jacket is part of the company's latest uh, move in being eco-friendly. 50 OS2 off-cut edition jackets have been created using surplus materials left over in the manufacturing process. Gill are committed to becoming a more sustainable brand. While they may not have all the answers, it's good to see that this brand is looking to do what they can to reduce their impact on the environment. It's great to see a renowned British marine brand as Gill taking action on their environmental commitment and fighting against ocean plastic pollution. Now, we've covered off on all things Ribcraft before on this show. They're one of the most established rib brands in the UK and further afield 
and are close to our hearts. PBR have traveled a few thousand miles in some of their smaller boats, such as the 4.8. However, a British entrepreneur has acquired Ribcraft UK. Yes, Ribcraft have been bought by a UK entrepreneur, Toby Adams, who was introduced to Ribcraft in 2009 when co-founding a global franchise called The Yellow Boats. Ribcraft Ribs provided the platform for success in what has become a leading brand in the tourism sector. Seeing a huge demand for more rigid inflatable boats, Toby embarked on investing in a Ribcraft license to manufacture in the UAE and supply increasing demand for Ribcraft uh, across the Middle East. Toby explains that present and future plans for the business are focused on enhanced after-sales support. There will be also a strong focus on new and existing contracts for military and, and global demand in this sector with Brexit offering increased opportunities and demand for high performance patrol boats. Toby said it is good to be part of a positive story at this time and that they're currently focusing on putting key people in place as well as looking at recruiting and expanding their Yeovil factory. So it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds and witness the exciting future that Ribcraft has as it expands and develops its plans further. Finally, MDL are on a charge currently with developments. MDL marinas are demonstrating their confidence in the power of regional marine shows by announcing multiple boat shows for 2021, with details being found on their website for these. However, MDL aren't just stopping there, they're adding further assets to their sites and are widening their brand offering with the launch of MDL Fitness a new range of green gyms where the fitness equipment converts human kinetic energy into electricity. Opening in four MDL marina locations during 2021 and 2022, the fitness centers will feature smart art eco power equipment, which harnesses up to about 74% of the user's energy spent exercising before converting it to utility grade electricity. Seeming MDL are one of our Beyond the Horizon partners and sponsors of this show. Perhaps I should check out the gyms and get rid of my uh, lockdown belly. In an episode previously, we ran a story on the RNLI and how their callouts had doubled. Well, we have another RNLI story, this time on a personal connection with them. Since his rescue by the RNLI in the mid 80s, it has been an ambition of Elliot Brown Watch's co-founder, Ian Elliot, to repay some of the very personal gratitude felt towards the volunteer charity. So vital in saving uh, his and other people's lives at sea. He was windsurfing in the Solent in very strong winds when trouble struck and after a long swim with de-rigged equipment and some considerable drifting due to the tide and wind, the inshore lifeboat picked him up from the low tide on the gravel bank off Hailing Island. His rescue left a deep sense of being indebted to the charity, which I think anybody that's used the RNLI can really relate to. Well, Elliot Brown watches are widely regarded as the go-to watch for blue light services and military operators. They're built up to a standard that makes them totally fit for purpose, and Ian's story and his company's brand values resonate with the values of the RNLI. Cue a partnership to create this fantastic watch, the Camford RNLI edition of Elliot Brown's lineup. So, I feel if you're into watches, this is gonna be a great daily wearer. It is hardy enough to deal with all of your boating exploits. What's great also is that every watch sold, which retails around about 365 pounds, Elliot Brown Watches donates about 35 pounds to the charity. Some really special and unique details have been brought to life, such as the rope and the anchor logo that are redesigned from the RNLI archives. I think you'll agree that it's a fitting detail for the case back. In addition, there are some small white and blue circular dial indexes positioned outside the hour buttons. Now, those eagle-eyed would uh, click that this is a subtle reference to the white and blue boat hooks carried on every RNLI offshore vessel. The coloured hooks hark back to the earliest days of service where lifeboats were powered by oar and sail with blue oars on the starboard side and white on the port side so that people could tell which way around the double-ended lifeboat was rowing. Canford's RNLI edition uh, is the 
very, very special edition built to professional specification with a scratch-proof glass and an inner timing bezel operated by the upper crown on the right-hand side of the case. Domed anti-reflective sapphire crystal provides really good hard-wearing surface, and I really like the durable practical strap that they've used on this watch. I'm told it's widely used by their military and blue light community of wearers. Now this strap has its own development story. It survived 12 month global circumnavigation um, strapped to a Clipper 70 race yacht for endurance testing. It also has its own NATO stock number. You know the ethos of a company when you're sent the watch with a little note to not look after it. This is gonna be a great fit for a number of our audience who will love a tough, good looking timepiece to accompany their boating adventures. So if you like the look of this watch, then you're in luck as this fantastic watch is this month's giveaway. Yes, we're giving away this r &Li special edition watch worth 365 pounds. However, the entry is going to be a little bit different this time because we want to include all of the family in this competition as we know the r &Li are extremely family orientated. So firstly, adults, to win the watch, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to comment also um, and give us some feedback on the show. However, we want to include the rest of the family too. Pretty much every family is homeschooling at the moment, myself included. I actually did a dry run through of this take with my son Teddy working alongside me. So we wanna get your kids to do something boating as well. So if they can do a drawing of your family boat, maybe a good uh, boating memory or even their own design boat, we're gonna do a competition for kids too. So next month we will pick the winner of the children's prize draw who will be getting some great children's boating merchandise courtesy of Powerboat and Rib Magazine. And obviously an adult is gonna be getting this awesome Elliot Brown watch. So to enter for the watch, like this video, subscribe, etc., and kids get out that pen and paper and email entries to social at powerboatandrib.com or tag us on social media with um, the hashtag boating news show. We really look forward to seeing entries. So for this month, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and thank you too for MDL. When it comes to uh, successful marina operations, MDL offers incredible experience and great expertise and the sponsors of this show. Established in 1973, they are now the UK's leading marina and water-based leisure provider and one of Europe's largest marina groups, currently operating 20 major marinas and boatyards, which are home to over 7,000 berths. They've also added two idyllic holiday parks to their collection, providing the perfect getaway by the water. Find out more at mdlmarinas.co.uk.